hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is love it if you're new here this is a place where we talk about beauty and styling tips for black women and in this video i'll be starting a series that's creating a capsule wardrobe for the body types and we'll be starting with um dramatics so we are going to be creating a girly capsule wardrobe for the dramatic woman so the first item on our girly capsule wardrobe list is a button down shirt um a structured button down shirt you know button down shirt that holds its shape and um not too lightweight and all of that yes a button down shirt is amazing white is what most people prefer but since we are going for a girly capsule wardrobe you can choose a really soft and um feminine color so next up on our list we have this um really feminine blouse you know that's almost oversized and if it's this oversized it will be beautiful to be in a lightweight fabric it, you can never go wrong with it and um on the far right hand side is an oversized um cardigan you know depending on the weather you can choose um a cardigan that's not really um heavyweight or really lightweight um so they are all in the same category this oversized and um, feminine looking blouse especially the one on the far left it really really looks beautiful looks feminine and if you really don't want it to be very very classy you can go for a soft color like pink and um, it will really really look beautiful so next up on our list you can see them they are really really girly looking blouses you know you can see especially your neckline you can either go asymmetric or very very high neckline just like we can see um in the white blouse you can see the really oversized sleeve but you can see that it creates an angle if you look at it, it looks almost like a triangle and then you know what be, what better way to you know look girly and feminine other than you know showing your collarbone and your shoulders they look really really fantastic so blouses with asymmetric neckline are amazing for dramatics so here we have this peplum because i do believe almost anybody type can rock the peplum but it depends on how you go about it now the kimono style peplum top in a structured material will look amazing on a dramatic and now you can see the two white peplums you can see one you know with that angle that it has especially i'm talking about the one in the middle and you can see the other one if you take a close look at them you can see that they create angles the peplum area has an angle the neckline has an angle and it looks really really amazing especially when it's in a fabric that holds a shape and since we're talking about girly white is also really really good and all of the pastel colors that we all know about so we have our peplums, we have our button down shirts, we have those other feminine blouses. So next up, we have still on peplums. You can see um, the first peplum that has the lace trimmer, you can see that it does hold its shape. You can see that it does look really structured. And the one on the far right, you can see those angles that it creates um, at the hemline area. That's the gray peplum and you can see the high neckline it is really especially when it's in heavyweight fabric it's amazing and the one in the middle it's like we don't even have to talk about it you can see how structured it looks you can see these are the kind of peplums that i would recommend for dramatics so next up is blazers guys a belted blazer it's another beautiful way you know to cinch in your waistline especially you know if the blazer is not really really your size you know kind of you know has a little bit of space going on there and you just belt it just for the peplum effect and just a regular blazer like we have in the middle you know that is unbuttoned you know you can see all of the colors all of these colors are really really feminine colors white pink beige beige is classy and you know, we, we can say it's girly but it's not really girly so for our skirt guys pleated skirt you can never go wrong with pleated skirt as a dramatic especially if you can find um 
the medium length pleated skirt or you can go for a leather pleated skirt like we have um, in the black um, leather pleated skirt you can see how beautiful it looks and it will you know, it will have some structure but since skirts especially pleated skirts is, uh, they are they are known for looking really really feminine and girly you know you get away with it guys this is amazing even the brown or beige skirt is actually leather so it looks really really good even if it's not leather i think it will work as long as it is long or midi length so next up we have um pencil skirt or straight skirt and it will be nice if you go for a really heavyweight fabric or a leather skirt it will look amazing amazing and even though the skirt is even in a white color just because it is leather and you know it is a very very heavyweight fabric it will look really really good on you so next up we have our jeans straight leg jeans um skinny leg jeans just jeans guys yeah that's it we've talked about this um leather skirts pencil skirts peplum and um, button down shirt i think i just remembered i did not add a regular t-shirt on the list but let me just talk about it here a regular t-shirt amazing let's add it to the list so when building a capsule wardrobe it makes sense to work with a color palette at least four i'm not against colors but especially when you're starting out and um, you don't want to get frustrated or bored or overwhelmed it is good to work with about three to four colors so here i have um rose pink pastel pink black and white if you take a look at it we can create contrast a very high contrast which is good for the dramatic woman and we can also create um a monochromatic scheme right here which will also look amazing and dramatic that means um a pastel pink and the white are paired together it creates it creates con contrast so this is our first um girly capsule wardrobe let's assume that in this capsule we are working with black pink um, rose pink and white for all of the outfits so we have one skirt one jean and six tops and one blazer so the blazer is already pink and um, we'll be pairing it with the tank top that is not um, in this collage right here and the tank top is black okay so that that makes us to have that that means we have about six tops including the blazer that's the sweater the blouse paired with the necklace the white button down shirt the pink button down shirt the blazer the kimono peplum and a white t-shirt so if we pair all of these tops that is these six tops with the two bottoms we'll be having about 12 outfits and if we also pair the pink blazer with the two bottoms, we'll be having a total of 14 outfits. Okay, let's say we do not use the imaginary black tank top with the pink blazer and we decide um, to pair the pink blazer with the white t-shirt and mix it up with the two bottoms that will be giving us a total of that is the pink blazer and the white shirt to um the pleated skirt that is 15 and then the pink blazer and the white shirt to the jean that is 16 outfits we can also decide to create a somewhat monochromatic outfit pairing the pink blazer with the pink button down shirt and the jean let's assume the jean is also pink or white that will be giving us a total of 17 outfits let's also decide we want to pair the button down shirt with the pink blazer and the pleated skirt that will be giving us a total of about 18 outfits so here is another beautiful um capsule which was not does not have a lot of layering very simple but yeah we can see it so we have um, an asymmetric neckline blouse paired with the same jean 
and then we have a pleated skirt paired with um a cardigan we have a black um leather skirt with slits we have two peplums one black peplum one ankara peplum and a white t-shirt so let me start explaining so we have um the black that is three bottoms which is one leather skirt one pleated skirt and one jean and we also have um about five tops that is one asymmetric neckline um blouse a cardigan or a sweater we have two peplums and one t-shirt that makes it a total of five tops so if all of these tops pair with the three bottoms we'll be having about 15 outfits so let me explain um the asymmetric neckline blouse is paired with the jean we're seeing in the picture that is one outfit and then the cardigan is also paired with the pleated skirt we're seeing in this picture that is two outfits now if the, the asymmetric neckline blouse can also pair with the pleated skirt that is three outfits the cardigan can also pair with the jean that is four outfits now the asymmetric neckline top and um the cardigan sweater thing can also pair with the with the leather skirt that's just two tops pairing with the leather skirt will give us a total of six outfits now the black peplum the ankara and um the white t-shirts can pair with all three bottoms giving us a total of 15 outfits if you pair them one after the other and do the math it's giving us a total of 15 outfits combinations that's just about eight outfits giving you a total of no eight items giving you a total of 15 outfit combinations i mean i think this is really really versatile if you're not trying to further complicate the whole matter with um layering so this is another outfit combinations guys and here we have three bottoms a leather skirt um a jean and a floral patterned um midi lens um pleated skirt so we also have five tops that's um a belted peplum blouse a regular white blouse um a burnt orange t-shirt and um a white peplum and a pink button down shirt this is not you know in a color palette but we are zooming they are either white black pink or rose pink okay so now we have how many outfits that's about nine outfits that would nine items that will give us a total of 21 outfit combinations so let me start doing the maths so this capsule is really really similar to our first capsule because we have a blazer but the only difference is that this time around we just have we don't have two bottoms but three bottoms um so all of the tops that is the five tops will work really really well with the three bottoms that will be giving us a total of about 15 outfit combinations so if we pair the blazer that is um buttoned and belted with all the three bottoms it will be giving us that's 15 16 16 17 18 it will be giving us a total of 18 outfit combinations now if we decide to ditch um you know to keep the belt and wear the blazer open with the burnt orange t-shirt and all the three bottoms it will be giving us a total of 21 outfit that is 18 plus 3 that is 21 so that's enough but if we decide to be a little um to have a little more wear you know we can go further and pair the blazer with the pink button down shirt together with all the three bottoms that is 21 plus 3 that should be 24 outfit combinations 
you see not even 21 outfit combination if you want to have more wear and pair the blazer you know with the um, pink button down shirt to be giving us 24 outfit combinations instead if we want to have more wear so that's the thing about um capsule wardrobes um working with them you know adding a little bit of layering in there to have more wear with your outfits so that's all for the video guys if you did enjoy please give me a thumbs up and um i really didn't you know work with the entire palette but you can just you know work with four colors like black white you know rose pink and pastel pink you know and just have all of the colors um correspond really really well to create um something that looks really really girly now if you if pink doesn't really work with you you can take out pink and add peach color and if white um maybe you're warm and you think white will not be really really good for you you can take out white and add cream or ivory and you'll be good to go so that's all for the video guys if you did enjoy give me a thumbs up and if you have more questions and you need me to explain further let me know down in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video bye